Hey folks, it's Greg from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. I made this little wood stove out of a Freon cylinder. I've been wanting to make one for a long time. It wasn't until after I got this one finished that I realized there are a whole bunch of different ones on YouTube. But anyway, let me show you what I did here. This was the handle end. Okay, right here. This is where the handle was attached. That's where the spout was, right there. Okay. I took the handle off, cut it in half, and made legs. I had to buy bolts. Of course, that's just a given. I had to buy a hinge. I bought this knob, and I wanted it to be long enough to get away from the door. Okay, bolted that all on. Also, what I found out, quite by accident, is that Weber Grill makes a Smoky Joe and that is the charcoal rack that goes in the bottom. I just cut off the rounded edges and believe it or not it fits perfectly inside this little stove. And I don't think you can see it. I think the light's pretty poor right now. There it is. Yeah, you can see it. It fits perfectly in there. I'm surprised it fits so well. So, what else did I do? Well, I wanted a flat surface to cook on. So I took the bottom of a coffee can. And I took one of the pieces that I cut out of the middle of the handle. And made a bracket to hold it down. One on each side. And I just shaped the can to fit on top because this is not hollow down into there. I don't want that much heat on a little coffee can lid. Uh, I may change that eventually. I'm not sure yet. i got to try it out first. So I cut this hole for the flue pipe, which is a 3-inch hole. I used a 3-inch uh, hole saw. Cut it out perfectly. And that's what I used to make the damper. This little damper right here. It opens up. I've got three holes there. And when I close it, there's still three holes at the bottom to feed the fire. Plus, the door doesn't close tight. It doesn't seal up, which I did that on purpose. I really don't need to shut the fire completely off. So... Anybody out there that uh, wants a little DIY project, look into this. This might make a really nice heater for an ice shanty. I'm going to try it out eventually. I haven't got to the opportunity to get outside yet. But anyway, this is Greg from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you like it, give it the old thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel.